All right, Lauren, thanks. As we settle into a long stretch of much colder weather, we do have a reminder about the importance of those carbon monoxide detectors. Carbon monoxide is called the silent killer, and deaths are more common when homes run furnaces in the winter. CBS News consumer correspondent Asher Qureshi shows us how detectors save lives. These four beeps mean it's time to get outside immediately. That signal. That is a what's called a four temporal pattern is what we refer to it as. Inside the UL Solutions Research Laboratory just outside of Chicago, David Mills runs hundreds of tests on alarms that are critical to detecting poisonous CO gas before it kills. Because you can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. Those four beeps mean the clock is ticking. Basically what you want to happen is the higher the concentration, the faster the alarm goes off. That's correct. Because the effects of CO poisoning would be happening faster at the higher concentration versus at the lower concentration. Without an alarm, Ashley Wilson had no idea the flu-like symptoms she was experiencing were being caused by carbon monoxide seeping into her Wisconsin apartment. It was slowly poisoning her and her family. I was just thankful that we were able to get out of there or like make the phone call, get out of there, go to the emergency room and survive it because a lot of people don't. This colorless and odorless gas at high concentrations can knock a person out almost instantaneously and stop their breathing within a minute. Go, 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 go. Body cam video from New York State shows us what poisoning looks like. Officers barely pulled this family to safety. They passed out from CO poisoning shortly after calling 911. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. The only one left conscious a toddler. Well, it would be completely preventable if we would like put detection in indoor spaces, but we don't. We checked. There's no national requirement for carbon monoxide alarms anywhere, except now for the first time in federally funded public housing. We're just doing some fine tuning um, as it relates to the new HUD requirement. It took multiple poisoning deaths for the Department of Housing and Urban Development to make the change. Three million of its units nationwide now have to have CO detectors by the end of this year. It's too much of our prevention has been focused on, on only the places that people might die, which is typically some place you sleep. It's just as important in a place where people work, they go to school. A recent CBS News investigation found that at least 10 states have no laws requiring carbon monoxide detectors in daycares. And in some states, like here in Wisconsin, they're not even required in schools. Were you surprised that it's not a requirement here? Yeah, yeah I, if you would have asked me before if, you'd, if I'd have given an off-the-hip answer, it would have simply been, oh, yeah, I'm sure we have them. School principal Jack Kanak found out only after Ashley Wilson asked. I'm surprised that very few have them anywhere uh, in the state of Wisconsin and even around the country. It's hit and miss. Hit or miss because even though Congress passed a law earlier this year that encourages states to use CO detectors, it does not require them. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Jonah. So the Wilsons started a one-family campaign for change, making calls and sending email after email to their school. Don't just get angry about it and just say, well, it is what it is. You know, try and follow up. So you have two in the building? Yes. Okay. Principal Kanak showed us the change that his school and all the schools in the district made. They're put up here, again tested. Uh, twice a month uh, by our building engineer. Thanks to the Wilsons, they now all have alarms. We're going into grandma's house. Ashley Wilson is now working with Wisconsin state legislators to require CO detectors in all schools statewide. It was so easy to do. I don't know why someone else hasn't already done it. Since carbon monoxide detectors aren't required in all buildings nationwide, first responders carry one of these on emergency calls, a portable CO alarm something Ashley Wilson does now too, so her family is always protected. Covering Colorado first, I'm Usher Qureshi. Colorado law requires detectors in schools and daycares. In 2009, Colorado lawmakers passed the Lofgren and Johnson Families Carbon Monoxide Safety Act. It's named after this family who died from carbon monoxide poisoning. They were staying in a rental in Aspen. The act requires that most homes and apartments put up for sale or rent have carbon monoxide detectors within 15 feet of any room that's used for sleeping purposes.